I have that effect on women. <laughs> One at a time, ladies, I have asthma. <laughs> Take your time, I have diabetes. <laughs> the bruises will not heal. Be gentle. <laughs> Sorry about all that silence at the beginning. I was thinking about random violence. If you laughed at that, you were thinking about it too. If you're a girl and you laughed at that, my phone number is not. I need to get off the dating apps, guys. It's not. It's not working. Like, I know what I look like, okay? I don't expect Tinder to make my life into, like, an Axe body spray commercial. <laughs> but I would appreciate it if they would stop trying to bleed me out of twelve ninety nine a month every time I run out of super likes. <laughs> you see the message. Don't let Melissa get away. For just twelve ninety nine, she'll finally accept you for who you are. Bumble's been messing with me, too. I got an alert from them. They said, you have a new message. I was like, yeah, I got a new message. It was from Bumble. No snakes. Wasted my time. I worked up over nothing. I'm gonna make my own app. Sure, bomb. I'm making my own. I need an app that's like friendly to fat guys that look like me. You know, like people are like, what do you have them? You have them playing fish, BBW. Those are only good for fat chicks. Nobody's excited to see this when they see their matches. I need a place where this is all you get. You know, but the first obstacle of making an app is figuring out a name and I'm like what I need a good inspiration for it like, where do fat guys go to get what they want in life like where do fat guys feel safest to be themselves and I'm like you got the second window it's my favorite part of a conversation when I go please pull up to the second window that's when I know finally something good is gonna happen <laughs> I think my mom is like losing her mind. Where she's getting like that weird paranoia you get when you don't have any real problems. Like I missed a delivery from FedEx and they left behind that little note that they put and you have to like sign it and then the next time they come they'll just leave the package there. And my mom was like, whoa, don't put that on the door. I don't want that on the door. I was like, why don't you want it on the door? That's where it goes. She goes, it has our address on it. She's like, mom. If they come to our house and see our address, I think it's too late. I think we're going to die. I gained a lot of weight. Uh, I think it was just so that I could ignore all my mental illnesses with like physical maladies. But that's not the weight of the world on my shoulders. I'm just 400 pounds. I'm not lethargic and not motivated and tired all the time because I'm depressed. It's diabetes. It's all right, it's type two, it's curable. There's hope. <laughs> Attracting women for me is like folding shirts. I do not know how to fold shirts. And everyone who does thinks they're better than me. And just because they're right does not mean it's okay. <laughs> I got my first heckle at a Denny's, believe it or not. Right. I didn't go there for comedy, but sat alone at a table. I know, no surprise to anyone here. And the guy next to me was like, whoa, look at the size of that guy. I bet he's going to get a hamburger, mozzarella sticks, and unlimited pancakes. And just because he was right. That's <laughs> not me. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a weight at this point where I can like start to judge people based on where they get their fast food. Like, if you get your fast food at Taco Bell, you're a stoner. <laughs> if you get your fast food at McDonald's, you're struggling. And if you get your fast food at Wendy's, you're a weirdo and we can't be friends. <laughs> and it's all in the logo, guys. It all makes sense when you think about it. Like, they're all designed to make you hungry. Like Arby's. Cowboy hats, you're like, alright, cowboys, western, spaghetti, western, spaghetti, alright, who wants roast beef? You're thinking Arby's. But Wendy's, what are you doing? Who the hell is driving down the road and sees a picture of a little red-headed girl and goes, who's hungry? <laughs> Thank you so much for your time and attention. I'm a true brother, Give it up for your host.